When I think about Christmas, I think about gifts. I love gifts. I love giving them and I love getting them. Let's admit it. We all say that Christmas is about the gift of Jesus coming to earth. But we get so busy going to work, school, neighborhood parties, planning meals, shopping, cleaning the house, and buying gifts. And then we don't like to admit this part, but we start waiting and wondering about the gifts we might be receiving. Somewhere in all of the good act of giving, we still manage to miss the most important things. His gift to us. In Matthew 2, the Magi are the first to bring gifts. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold, frankincense, and you know it, myrrh. Yes, it's true that they gave gifts, and yes, it's true that they were extravagant, expensive, and possibly even inconvenient acts to show reverence and love, just like we do to one another. But take notice that they stay focused on who the gifts were for. The Magi never used any excuses like, I'm too busy, too frazzled from traveling, or too insecure if the gift was good enough or not. This Christmas, I want you and I to be intentional about being present in mind and in heart when we give our presents. And consider this, the best gifts that we can give others this Christmas is re-gifting the spiritual fruit basket that God has given to you and I through Christ. Galatians 5, 22 to 23 says, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. If we bring His gifts to Christmas morning, it will be the best Christmas ever.